Bullied in school, Kaha Saidun, son of a Silat grandmaster, turned into a master of a southern-style Chinese martial art. With encouragement from his late father to learn and immerse himself in a different culture. So I asked him, what should I learn? Mm-hmm. So he said, go and look for Chinese martial arts. Eventually, he chose Wing Chun and began training under Master Yip Fook Choi in 1991. Along the way, he also learned the Ip Man version of Wing Chun while studying in Britain. He recounted telling his master how much he had learned and about his bouts while sparring with other martial artists bigger than him. So he invited me to actually fight him, and I was so 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 surprised. I'm still surprised. I'm still working on it now. He was throwing me around like a rag doll with one hand. And he was already about 60 years old at the time. He promised not to rest until he and the next generation of Wing Chun disciples under him had reached his master's level. Legend says the foundations of Wing Chun were established by a Buddhist nun, Eng Mui, from the Shaolin Temple. It was her disciple Yim Wing Chun who then developed the martial art. By, by virtue of being a lady, so yeah, I think she modified it, make it simpler, make it. So that people of small stature can also use it as effectively as anyone bigger. Kaha said Wing Chun is carried out in close proximity with the least amount of energy possible. Uh, Yip Kin Wing Chun is a lot more traditional. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Uh, it has a lot more content, mm-hmm. and then uh, a lot more um, varieties within the art itself. Mm-hmm. Um, we have lion dance. We've got qi gong. We've got so many things within the uh, syllabus. So it would be wonderful if our country were to acknowledge our masters, not just masters who are. I mean, not just martial arts masters, but masters of their field. Masters of their field. Since 2001, Kaha has been teaching the art to Malaysians of all cultures and backgrounds.